how to know you are dealing with a papist devil. I'm going to look at six points here. Number one, they might not be openly Catholic, but their spirit is. Okay, There are a lot of people out there that are not openly Roman Catholic, um, but they have the Catholic type of philosophies, and they'll stick to a lot of things in Catholicism. Number two, they will avoid certain scriptures and make the movement about you. They'll call, you know, like Hussite, John Huss, followers of John Huss. Oh, you're, you're a Hussite. Um, then it was J. Frank Norris. They, he, people would be called Norrisites if they held to the King James Bible. Of course, Ruckmanite, we've heard that one. And there's a lot of people that are now using the term Denlingerite. If you have been blessed by this ministry, you're now a Denlingerite. They won't deal with the scriptures that I bring up. They will just label you as being part of this movement and you worship me as God or something like that, which is absurd. Number three, they will say that, quote, no Christian has ever believed this, whatever heresy, before so-and-so taught it, okay? Or the church has always taught and believed whatever. The church has always been Trinitarian. The church has always been taught the Trinity. No Christian ever believed in, in you know, this teaching of, of the Denlingerites, you know, or something. You're dealing with a papist devil. And I don't mean just as an insult. I'm saying that there is an actual spirit there, I believe, that comes from Roman Catholicism that these people are manifesting. All right. They don't even have to be Roman Catholic to manifest this devil, this devil spirit. Number four, they will mock you and say that you believe God showed you this teaching and anyone who disagrees with you is going to hell. That's another one of the ways that these papist devils will handle somebody that goes against their particular beliefs. They'll mock you. Okay, Look at the enemies of my ministry. Right? They mock me all the time. Very interesting. And of course they say that I'm the only one going to heaven. I believe that I'm the only one going to heaven and everybody else that you know disagrees with me is going to hell, which I don't believe. Number five, uh, they will say you have founded a cult whose sole purpose is to make money. Uh, yeah, okay. Again, that's been said about me. Well, if my sole purpose has been to make money, uh, why on earth would I preach controversial issues that turn most people away? Okay, if, I was my, if my sole purpose was to have a cult to make money, I'd be another Joel Osteen. I'd tell people what they want to hear. I'd monetize my channel. Know what I mean? Number six, they will twist your words and attack you personally. And also do the same to anyone who tries to defend you. Uh, yeah, another way that you can tell that somebody is actually a papist devil, that they have an evil spirit about them. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. We'll go there real quick. If you see this thing in a video, if you see those any of those six points there, Know that you're dealing with a papist devil. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 4 through 10. But in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes and imprisonments, in tumults and labors, in watchings and fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth. Thank the Lord that we have it. Hearing something over there. Um, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report. <laughs> As deceivers, that's what lost people say about you, and yet true. People call me a deceiver, but yet what I'm saying is the truth because it's backed up by Scripture. And if what I say is not backed up by Scripture, if you hear me say something, you say, I don't think the Bible says that, Brian. Okay, then it's not true. Okay. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You get it? I don't ever usurp this book. As unknown and yet well known. I love that one too, people. Well, then there's nobody. He's nothing. He's, he's a false prophet. He's a, then why do you spend all your time watching me? Why are you so worried about the movement here? You know? Like I'm trying to be, you know, part of something. Another one of the big lies is that people say that I'm trying to be the head of the Bible-believing movement. I have never once said that, and that is not at all what I'm trying to do. I don't want to head the Bible-believing movement. The Bible-believing movement is headed by Jesus Christ. Why would I try to usurp His position? I'm not that stupid. 
Um, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Hmm. Well, that pretty much sums up this ministry. I'm trying my best to follow those things to approve myself as a, as a minister of Jesus Christ. But uh, if you hear the lies that are brought out against this ministry, against me personally, um, you're dealing with papist devils. It's just as simple as that. Uh, you, it's up to you if you want to believe them. But um, they're not true. I don't seek to be the head of the Bible-believing movement. Uh, like I said, Jesus Christ is the head of the Bible-believing movement. Um, this is your standard of truth. The King James Bible. Not me. Okay? Uh, I've made mistakes in the past that I've had to correct. I'd like to see my enemies say that about their quote-unquote ministries. They never will. They'll never admit to mistakes on their part. They believe that they're perfect. They believe that they are, in, you know, infallible. Um, I am fallible. I have made mistakes. I have had to correct errors that I've made. Uh, so, I don't ask you to follow me. I don't ask you to uh, totally support me blindly and whatever else. Uh, no, I don't ask that. I ask you to follow Jesus Christ and to read His Word. And if, uh, this blessing, if this ministry has been a blessing to you and God lays on your heart to support this ministry, then support this ministry. If you don't feel led to support this ministry, then support somebody else or do your own ministry. Um, but don't waste your whole life down here just not amounting to anything. Okay? Support somebody. Do something with your time and with your money. All right? Earn rewards in heaven. That's what it's all about, brethren. Okay? Um, but if you see those six things there, uh, I'd run away from a ministry like that. Okay? So, please take heed to these things. Thank you for watching.